they're an invitation. They're not a warning, right? I want, I want people to relate to them. I am Ann Clark, textile artist and the creator of a series of work that I've done over the course of the last eight years that is primarily about uh, being a caregiver of my mother with dementia. I've always been a textile artist and it really started, I think it's about 10 years ago when I started taking care of my mother. I moved her here to Syracuse. She lived in Rochester, New York and was fortunate enough to rent a house very like couple doors down. I could provide care and see her every day and take care of her. That dynamic took place over eight years and she ultimately died two years ago at 100 years old. So those last eight years of her life, that arc, as the past became her present, as she thought I was some a childhood friend, my initial impulse was always to correct her. No, I'm not this, because it seemed, you know, that's my reality, where that would just agitate her. Her reality is her reality. And to accept, right, accept that and receive that and, and not like correct her. And it's at that juncture that I started to make work about it. I had always been doing textiles, but the scale of the textiles was a yard, two yards. They weren't like 14 feet. I started to just be totally possessed by needing to make work that was really big. It's like, okay, this feels big, so I'm gonna make big work. These large rugs are made on a knitting machine. This piece is actually in four panels so that they're knitted and it's very open when they're finished and then hand sewn together. The piece before I wash it in my home washing machine, and nobody's gonna believe that, but it's true, is about twice the size of this. It's very big open knit. It would be like a sweater. And so I wash it and block it on my studio floor, wash it, block it on my studio floor to, to get it to be this sort of density that I like. They're big and they're heavy. And this is big and heavy, right? It's like, so like this piece is called Arrival. Obviously it's this image of her hand next to a fork. And it's really this sort of very simple representation that stage where they can't feed themselves, where they can't, like, what is a fork? And I put these sort of equations around it to represent sort of reason, and, and that's my chatter. You know, it's like, I'm gonna make sense out of this. It, it really ha did change how I think about things because I, I have throughout the series chosen to frequently do day and night and do two pieces that represent the rhythm of day and night, day and night, day and night. And in some aspects, the differences of, of night from day, because there were different aspects of care at night. There was also this like through line of mother and daughter flipping that I became her mother in ways while I was still her daughter. I did a number of pieces called Mother and Child, where, where I'm both the mother and the child. And in the center of those pieces, I use a silhouette cut out image that was done of me when I was a child, you know, ultimately caring for my mother, I was always her child. And then sort of spatial landscape that I created of all of the language and writing that's around those pieces that were, we are floating in this matrix of our notes that I would pick up. She would write notes to try and remind herself of things, doctor's notes, old letters I found that I would read. She would frequently, and I started to have to take a, sort of take some things away from her because she would find something and then I'd, I'd be there and she would just relive her mother's death. She was very challenging, like a very, very difficult person. So I wanted, I needed to have the agitation, I don't know, the agitation just is there, right? That that, tension of my struggle of meeting her every day through her care and you know it felt like my odyssey I'm, I'm really moved by the conversations with individuals who have experience with a loved one of dementia and getting it on another level people come up and hug me and say thank you it was really that like i hear you like i see you and how powerful that is.